A trip to the pump is going to cost you even more today, and prices could keep climbing. The average per gallon in Minnesota is $4.39 right now, with the national average even higher, reaching $4.71 today. Experts with AAA blame a decrease in supply of crude oil and an increase in demand, especially now with summer travel. Our Adam Duxter shares when relief could come and how Minnesotans are coping in the meantime. If you've got the time and the patience, Thursday morning in Egan presented the chance for a cheap pump. Sure if I need gas, I stop here because it's the cheapest place I've found. Four dollars and three cents at the local Sam's Club. Enough for Therese Hoffman to stop by on her trek from West St. Paul. In Burnsville, they had 449. So to me, this is cheap, but it is weird. 32 gallons in a pickup, 125 bucks for Ken Hoffman. I happen to be filling this up for my son. So I'm using this because of his credit card. Otherwise, I'd be at Costco. <laughs> One year ago, the thought of lining up for $4 gas would have been unheard of. But the prices are up, and experts say they're likely not done climbing. They're 60 cents above the previous record right now, and there doesn't appear to be a top in sight. So it's really hard to project where gasoline prices may go. The war in Ukraine in a shrieking supply of crude oil driving up the cost of your daily drive. AAA's Gene LaDucer says relief could take as long as Labor Day. $5 gasoline is not a foregone conclusion, but on a national average, uh, it appears reachable now for the upper Midwest. And just to show how quickly things can change, at just about noon, the price jumped from 403 here in Egan to 427, which can mean an extra $5 to anyone filling up from empty. I just wish they'd come back down. <laughs> it's going to affect the summer. I'm already thinking ahead on where we can go or what we can do. And you have to really uh, figure out what the gas prices are going to be to decide if you're going to take trips, long trips or not now. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. AAA tells us one option state governments have is to create a tax holiday, which would lower prices. However, that could create issues with other tax-supported projects in the future.